Hello everyone and welcome to Highway Academy. In this video, we are going to be looking at a way of how we can import historical Google Earth imagery into Civil 3D or AutoCAD. Have you ever thought of situations where you look at some of the old historical images you have in Google Earth, for example, 10, 20 years back, and you're wondering how to import it into Civil 3D or AutoCAD? Stay tuned in this lesson. Now for the intro. So we are going to look at the situation where we are trying to import in Google Earth imagery. In this case, I want to import in the latest imagery in this area, but then also I want to import in image uh, roughly, we could say uh, 10, 20 years ago, because at that time the area was kind of like a swamp. So this is 2005. And again, this is the imagery I want to import. Um, this is 2002, um, and it's of the same area. We can see the different developments. So how do we do that? We are going to use a plugin called CAD Earth. Um, in this case, I'm going to fire up my CAD Earth. Um, you can see the version I'm using. I just want to make sure I'm in the same area. So I always just draw a quick line. Um, let's say in this case, I know that um, I'm, I'm just mainly interested in this area uh, for CAD Earth. Uh, I can save this as... Go name this as the Google Import. The most important thing is making sure you have your area. So uh, in Civil 3D, you, you remember you can import KMZs into Civil 3D, KMZs and KMLs, that, those are Google Earth formats. So I'm going to just type in my country, Uganda, um, the right coordinate system 36N. In your country, you can put in what you want. And then I'm going to use the command map import. After you've done this, you click the desktop. Our goal again is to import in this command. To import in the KMZ. I look for the KMZ, I click it, and that's imported in quite well and the beauty with this is you can now check it um, you can now check it in relation to civil 3d imagery um, in this case the online map data and in this case it's going to be lining up so just give it a few minutes and imagery data should be coming up any minute right now and it's the same area of context so I'm going to draw a rectangle around that going to rectangle around this is the area in which I want it to capture uh, the data I need. Now what's going to happen is we're going to look, use a plugin called Cardath and Cardath is going to look at your Google Earth. If you want to know more about Cardath, watch a video I put in the link above. It explains everything on how to use Cardath. But now we're going to straightly, we're going to go straight into using Cardath. So make sure your Google Earth is open in this case. I'm going to just turn off I'm going to just turn off this because uh, I don't need it. And I'm going to just turn off the sidebar. So what you have to do is make sure Google Earth is open. Civil 3D is open. I'm going to just turn off this because I just wanted to confirm if we are in the right place. Then I go to Card Earth. In Card Earth, the first thing I have to do is georeference the drawing. What I've done before. So it's going to tell me, okay, where are you located? And all I have to do is just look at where I am and then select the country, which is, in my case, 36N. Select the units. It's very important to select the units. So after that, now I can import in the georeferenced image. I click Import Image. Then it's going to ask me, select a closed polyline. So you must have a closed polyline. Select that. Now it's going to ask you a number of things. Now I go into detail in regards to this when you're looking at the CAD Earth Masterclass. Um, full path, so I'm going to select full path. I'm going to select a full image and I'm going to select kind of a high resolution image. Normally it's good to select high, higher or maximum, but for this case, for tutorial purposes, we're going to go with that. I want 
satellite and I want Google Earth because that's important. That's what's kind of going to give us the old image. Then I'm going to say accept. The moment I click accept, it's saying the current Google Earth is not compatible. This is something you're going to face because Google Earth has a way of not always, um, Google Earth always updates. I don't know why. Every single time this happens, Google Earth always updates. Uh, so what you're going to do is, I'm going to just close Google Earth up and I'm going to try installing Google Earth again. So once we've installed the right version of Google Earth, what we're going to do is, again, go to the area of interest, which is here, uh, move to the historical year, in this case, we say 2002. And just wait for Google Earth to load up. I just want to make sure I don't have anything on like terrain or any of that. Yeah, it was loading up. So 2002, this is what you're looking at. So I'm just trying to make sure most of the other images are loaded into cache so that when it's, I'm trying to capture the image, we get something really good. So this is the area of interest. You can see the change that has happened. Um, that is to say there was nothing here. Um, this was all like uh, green and all that. So we go back to Google Earth, we select import geo image, um, select the closed polyline. It always asks you to select a closed polyline. If you want to know more about all these details, check in the Cardath Masterclass where I go through everything. It's free on the channel. So I'm going to select high because I want high, but I always recommend you select higher or maximum. Um, satellite imagery and then select Google Earth. Now, the number of things here that can happen, but we're not going to talk about that. Something that's very important is, is the maximum segment length. Um, then finally, we click accept and I'm going to name, I'm going to type the image here that, that the image is called Lugogo and I'm like, okay, replace it. Now what it's going to do, it's going to go on Cardath and it's going to start taking screenshots which is quite cool. So it's showing me that roughly there are 12 images it's going to create right now. So you can see it shifts from one screenshot to another while taking all the different areas. And the beauty with this is you will be able to have clear historical imagery in this case. So I'm going to just import both of them and I'm going to line them up like with each other. So I've got the historical imagery in this case and what I could do is I'm going to just move it to the side, just right here. Now it's not gonna be georeference, but remember I just need historical images of different years. So now I'm also going to try importing in the latest image. I just have to turn this off and we're going to be looking at the latest image. And then what I could do, because I love, because Google Earth has very clear images. So we go again here, click this, click accept, now I'm going to name this Lugogo too. And it's going to do the same thing. It's going to take screenshots at the same point, similar images, same resolution. And this makes it easier for one to compare the two images. So this is very good in areas where you have swamps and you're trying to compare. We had a case where a developer came and said they built something in 2009 and at the time they were claiming I think roughly around 2 million US dollars and what talked us was we used um, the Google Earth imagery um, to be able to validate um, that this person was lying. Um, he didn't know that we could have imagery all the way back to that time to know that there was no development on his facility. Actually his development came after the road. So you find that the situations where this is very important. And that's the beauty. So you can see what has really happened uh, between the two years. Um, developments came up here. Here we still don't have any development. And we can really now have a huge supermarket here. Most of this has remained the same, but here there have been further developments. So in this video, you've seen how we can use Cardath to help you record um, or get historical imagery. Otherwise, um, check out other cool lessons on Highway Academy. And again, I want to thank you. Don't forget to check out Highway Academy website. Otherwise, see you in the next video.